Hey everybody, Jay here. Welcome back to the channel. Another outdoor boiler video for you, back by popular demand. Um, I try to space out these boiler videos. They are the most popular right now on the channel, but I like variety. I do a little bit of wood cut and wood split, maybe a boiler video. So I like to alternate. That's why some people keep asking me, uh, Jay, keep doing big videos on boilers and blah, blah, blah. I will. We have all winter, so stick tight, stick, uh, hang around. But anyways, let's get right into it. Um, this right here, it's a beautiful two-year season piece of maple split 16 inches. You shouldn't be burning this in your outdoor wood boiler. I see a lot of people have sent me their um, firewood setups with outdoor boilers and all I'm seeing is wood like this. You guys are wasting your time. Now hopefully I still have your attention here. These outdoor wood boilers are designed to burn rounds like this. Big rounds, big suckers. Now, obviously, if your health and your back and whatnot, um, if you have to cut smaller firewood, I get it. But if you can lift it, if it fits, it ships in these machines. This has a 60 by 48 firebox. I can burn a four foot, over a four foot uh, log in this machine. Now, Jay, I understand, you know, that's a heavy log and blah, 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 but find a happy medium. Um, if I have big trees in the woods, I cut them into 24 inch sections. I split them once or twice. Manageable pieces. If you're splitting all your firewood down to this size, look at the difference here between the two. It's, you're wasting your time. This is the biggest mistake I've seen with new outdoor wood boiler owners. And I did this my first year. Split, 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 and then you're pissing through wood. These machines get a bad rep. Oh my God, they use a rainforest worth of wood and blah, blah, blah. That's not true. I'm gonna cover this in another video. They do use a decent amount of firewood, but if I was to make, let's say split wood, I'm actually gonna do a video on it. I'm gonna show you, probably in the next video or two, the difference between burning split wood and burning complete rounds here. So I am going to cover that. Um, but what I do is, and what should help you, if you're cutting firewood, every third log split into smaller pieces because these machines rely heavily on a coal bed. So now, obviously, to burn these big rounds, listen to how, listen to how dry that is. These machines burn, can burn big rounds. Now, in order to burn a big round, you need a good sized coal bed. I've come to find out that the best way to rebuild your coal bed, especially if you watched that last video, is to use smaller rounds to begin with. So I, what I do now, and this has taken me, this has taken me five years to figure out, every third log I'm cutting, I will process down into smaller, not necessarily camp size wood, but probably 24 inch pieces split a couple ways. And I'll go, uh, and actually I'll go show you right now. Let's pop you guys off the tripod. I'm trying to save you guys some time, energy, and aggravation. Let's check out my wood sheds right here. So anyways, turning. This is all fresh cut boiler logs. 30 to 32 inches. Got branches in there, got everything. See how big these are? None of these are split but a lot of these are under eight inches or so. Again, manageable pieces. What I can now at 29 years old pick up. Let's look at the season shed. As you can see here, round, 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 round. Some split wood, rounds. Uh, do we have any split wood on the bottom? No, we don't have any split wood. Most of this stuff is small diameter. Even if I do need to split it, I hit it once or twice with the ax. Look at how dry that is. Stuff's ready to go. So this is one wood shed here. Um, the best example actually, is over here. Hold on. Let me move some stuff. So on this left side here, all smaller diameter stuff, non-split. Over here, seasoned pine, not split because it's light. Over here, hardwood, smaller diameter. And then we get into we had some big wood. Again, split so I could manage. These are all manageable size pieces. A couple mushrooms growing off that one. You see what I'm saying? Hopefully this makes sense. Uh, moving right along. This side, variety, round, 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 split, split, um, split wood here, split wood there. This, this round actually, most of this is split. I come over here, if I need to rebuild my coal bed, I'll come over to this shed here and grab some split rounds and then I'll pull, I have different, I know which logs are seasoned and what's not seasoned. So anyways, let's go back over here, put you guys on the tripod and wrap up. All right, folks, I'm just really trying to save. I keep seeing it. You guys have been sending me a lot of um, 
firewood setups and boiler setups. Split wood is easier. It's obviously easier to handle. It's lighter. It dries quicker. But you're making, you're using more of it. This round here, this piece of split wood, this could burn in an hour and be gone. This round here, this big, this is the same thing. This is probably, this is a, this is a 16 inch piece plus, this is probably a 24 inch round by, by seven. That would burn for a whole day, if not longer in this machine. And I'm gonna do that video next. So when I make that video, I'll put a link of it here, but stop splitting all your wood. Um, if you can lift it safely, now I understand big rounds get heavy. Luckily, I'm 29 years old, I'm healthy, um, so I can afford to lift the bigger rounds. I'm sure as time goes on, um, the rounds will get smaller, but we'll deal with that then. But for now, if you can fit it through the door, don't split it. If you have a good coal bed, I say this before, coal bed, coal bed, coal bed all the time. So hopefully you watch this video, hopefully it makes sense. Again, every third round you cut, you should process down into small pieces like my wood shit. I had a variety. So if I come out here to fill my boiler, like you saw last video, I didn't have a coal bed. So what did I do? I went and grabbed some split rounds and split those again just for fun because I needed to. And I rebuilt my coal bed. And then since that, since that day, I've been burning nothing but the big rounds mixed in with the pines. So you're making more work for yourself. So hopefully that makes sense. If your wood boiler calls for stick wood, like a gasification unit uh, or one of the newer ones with the double burns, you really have no choice. But if you're running dinosaurs like this, if you're running classics, please just stop making more work for yourself. Some submissions I've gotten, I've seen rows and rows of 16 inch wood and it's like burning toothpicks in a campfire. Hopefully the wind's okay guys, but uh, anyways, that's all I got for you today. Another wood boiler video, so again, stop splitting your all your wood every third round you cut and process you should probably split that seems to be a good ratio for me because every so often you need to fizzle out and uh, you need to rebuild the coal bed so thank you guys for watching let me know what you think and yeah like i always say we will see you out in the woods